Hello, everybody. Oh, no. <laughs> Give me one sec. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I don't know if the sound on my mic was like echoing for a second. It very well could have been. I was testing it to make sure it wasn't being weird before stream. <laughs> forgot to like unduplicate anyway hello how's everybody doing rias hello you can't stand gaston during his quest line especially at level 10 it's ridiculous oh no i'm excited listen <laughs> i'm interested to see what his quests are like what we're getting ourselves into because i haven't done any of them i think right now he's at like level three friendship for me so also it's going to be a bit of a um uh, of an adventure, we'll say, trying to get him leveled up enough. Hi, Amanda. Hello, Tiny Panda, Brian, Candia. Hello, Taylor, Tay Tay. Hi. How's everybody doing? Hi, Nina. Um, Let's go over to Eternity Isle. I think we'll be able to find Gaston there. I feel like the strategy is to first get, pick up the quest that he has for us, get him to hang out with us. Maybe we'll clean up around the aisle a little bit. Try to level him up and then get into the quests. I think that's a good idea. I feel like. Wait, is he not here? Hmm. He should be here. Uh, if he's not here, he might be just like on the valley. In the valley. Oh, well, we'll find him. Um, I feel like it's been a little bit forever since the DLC came out. Like, it hasn't... When did it come out? The beginning of December? So I feel like I've really, really been taking my sweet time with it, if we haven't even started questing with Gaston yet. Tanya, hello! Nice to be here. Love the videos. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. I appreciate it. And I'm happy that you're here. Okay, not here. So I guess I have to go back to the valley. Good luck. He's so annoying. Wait, really? I don't know. So far, I've found him to be kind of funny. But we will we will see. Um, Where are we going? Let's go to, yeah, the valley and just see if we can track him down. Hi, kitty. Hello. Hello. You may fall asleep. Ooh. Uh, if you do fall asleep, that's fine. But thank you for being here. I hope you're having a good day today. Is it glitching for anyone else? What kind of glitching is happening on the stream for you? Sometimes refreshing YouTube will fix it. I think everything looks good on my end. But if anyone else is having issues, let me know. Where is Gaston? It took a bit, but Gaston has grown on you. Well, that's good to know. Where is he? Um... <laughs> Are we going to have a, ran a change of plans? I think he's just not around. Um, so many amazing let me see. Did I banish him from everywhere? No. He should also be a different color. I'm not bugging, right? Like, he's not here. Stream is fine. Stream is fine. Okay, good, good, good. You wanted to work on your dream snap while lurking, but you're too tired. Oh, well, we still have quite some time left before the dream snaps are due. I haven't done any voting yet, though. Let me go into a building, come back out, re-enable his permissions in the valley and see if that fixes it. Check his house. Maybe. I can't access his house yet. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Hmm. Listen, isn't this just like Dreamlight Valley to ruin all of my plans? Hi, Lauren. This is your first live stream. You haven't unlocked Gaston in the DLC, but looking forward to seeing me progress with him. Nice. Yeah. Um, well, here's the thing. <laughs> we might not be able to if he doesn't show up. Let me try to go to his house. I think my game just hates me. We might have to ooh, change plans and or 
just restart my game and see if that fixes it. Hi, Andy. How are you? Does this happen to anybody else? It's been happening to me quite a bit lately. It's not always Gaston, but there's oftentimes just one person who won't show up for some reason. Oh, wait, I can go into his house? Who knew? Not here, though. And he didn't magically appear. Okay, here's what I'm going to do, because this is a little bit ridiculous. I'm going to go back to the title screen and um, come back and hope that that fixes it. That usually fixes a plethora of things. So we'll see if that will work. It also happens to you so irritating, right? It's definitely not my favorite. No one hides like Gaston. Stop. Hi, Amanda. How are you? That happened to you last night with Gaston, too? Interesting. Who does it happen with for me a lot? I think it happens with Ursula sometimes. And I think it happened with Penelope a time or two. Happened to you with Rapunzel? She was there, but she wasn't showing up on the map. Oh, so you had to search for her. Okay, we can probably try that, too. Just run around, see um, <laughs> if we can track him down. Just not on the map, maybe? Okay. Cross our fingers and our toes and hope that he's here. No? Okay. Well, you know what? That's fine. Let's just take a little, a little journey around the aisle. Do a bit of cleaning. See if we can find him. That's so weird. And so unfortunate. The one time I actually want to <laughs> engage with Gaston, he's just missing. I don't think anyone hangs out over here. Also, maybe no one will be surprised. I forgot to take the picture with the capybara that was here yesterday. So now I have to wait until next week. Anyone already tired of the loading screen with Jack? I actually really like the loading screen. I think it's nice. The color scheme is kind of different from the ones that we've had recently. So I'm enjoying it, but I do always get really excited about the new art. So, but also, I don't know. This feels like a dig. I don't mean it in that way, but I don't know that artwork with Mike and Sully is going to be like my favorite. Like, I don't know if I'm going to look at it and feel like, ooh, <laughs> excitement. Did I check Remy's? I did, but I'll check again. We're just going to kind of take a sprint around, see if he pops up. You like the loading screen? I think it's pretty. I, for a long time, thought we weren't going to get one because... They shared the DLC key art and they didn't share the artwork for the free update at all until it just randomly showed up in our game. Not here. Kyrie, hello, how are you? You think this winter or Christmas you want Sally? I would love to have Sally eventually. I feel like the Sanderson sisters are my next like spooky character desire. I would really like to get the Sanderson sisters. Hi, Brandy. How are you? OK, not here. And you know what? If we don't find him, I guess we're changing the plan. <laughs> and we're going to be questing with Eve instead. I wonder. I don't think I can change my thumbnail while I'm live. I think I can change my title if we need to. Actually, I think, well, my original plan honestly was to quest with Eve today. And maybe this is the game telling me that I should have just done what I originally planned. There was no need to switch things up. You're good on your way to grab Sonic. Oh, I haven't had Sonic in years. 
there used to be one uh, where I lived when I was in high school. And there was pretty much nothing where I lived when I was in high school. So it was kind of a uh, like a common hangout place. <laughs> but I don't think I've been to a Sonic since then. Not over here. There's also the possibility that as soon as I go to one area, he's going to be running to a different area, which is not great. Let's pop over here. You hope they bring the Sanderson sisters? That would completely sell you on this game, not that you're not already sold. Yeah, I feel like the Sanderson sisters would be great, and I don't think I would usually assume that a game like this would have them, but Disney Magic Kingdoms has the Sanderson sisters, so I feel like it's a possibility. I feel like it's possible. At Halloween, that would be fun to have that Midler in our valley. Yes, an absolute icon. Hmm. You know what? I feel like he's just not in existence. I don't know what happened. Maybe he felt too neglected. And has decided he doesn't want to live this life anymore. That's I didn't mean it that way. I meant the valley life. Maybe he's moved to wherever the next DLC takes place. I lost Gaston. I didn't lose Gaston. <laughs> well, Gaston lost himself. He's just not showing up. All right. <laughs> go to the meat stall wait i don't have it unlocked yet because i haven't done any questing with him you know what i give up <laughs> let's go to our house change into a different outfit we're hanging out with eve instead they did add all their hair and wardrobe so why not bring them yeah i feel like they really should um I'm a little bit distressed. I was actually so excited about this. Click him off and on and he should spawn in his house. Hmm. He's going to show up as soon as I do that. I know. Wait, wait, what, Claudia? Oh, whoa, that was a weird uh, well teleport. Let me go. OK. Oh, there he is. What? OK, it's fine. <laughs> We don't need to complain. We will just accept it. <laughs> he was not in the restaurant. We found him. It's OK. <laughs> I don't know where he's been hiding out, but here we go. Oh, Claudia. Yeah, I, I did try that and it didn't work, um, but he's here now. See, right, Kitty, as soon as I complained enough and gave up. He showed up. Okay. How are you settling in, Gaston? Need a hand with anything? Well, I never need a hand. Mm, but you could use one anyway. I promise you, anything I decide to do, I excel at. Okay. Um, <laughs> can you succeed at being polite? <laughs> of course. But polite is overrated. I have to say, I'm not impressed by the community at all. Well, sure, there's always room for improvement. Is there something that would help you feel more at home? Most definitely. Appropriate adoration. Oh, sir. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's giving Maui again, unfortunately. Buckets of praise. And most importantly, a place for it all to happen. Uh, what did you have in mind? I can see it already, a rustic hunting lodge, my latest kill roasting over the fire, and me in the middle, holding court among my adoring fans or admiring fans. Yeah, I'm not sure about the latest kill part, but I can help you get a lodge going. Usually LeFou handles this sort of thing, but since he's not here, I suppose you could be a substitute LeFou. How kind of you. 
I am kind, aren't I? I built a lodge ages ago in the waste. Let's meet there. I want to show you how it looks after my time stuck in the desert. Okay, well, don't go anywhere, though, because you are hanging out with me. We're not losing you again. Um, happy birthday, Cody. Let's go to the aisle, to the plains. It doesn't really matter which one we go to. You wish you could sure jan him? Oh, <laughs> Oh, these are also grown. I'll pick those in a little bit. That was what we needed to plant for um, Scrooge. Why Gaston Disney? Why? I mean, he's kind of funny. I don't mind him. Just wouldn't be my, my number one choice. Maui is tame compared to Gaston's insufferable ego? Wow, I don't know. Maui's got quite the ego. You just gifted him shards to speed the process. I don't really prefer to do that usually, but we'll see. Look at this place. Um, It's a bit of a fixer upper, but it's not that bad, except for that partially invisible thing you have on your wall. That's not ideal. Just what I was thinking. This will take a bit of work. Normally, I just tell LeFou to handle things. But Gaston, hello. Oh, uh, what was I saying? Renovations. <laughs> right. Well, first we need to clear out all this sand and do something about that portrait of mine. It's insulting for it to be in such a state. Try using your fancy hourglass on it and let me know when you're done. Uh, okay, I guess. <laughs> a poor attitude doesn't make this work easier. All right, time to get to work. Let's do it. Hi, Rafi. How are you? I am doing pretty well. Is the game music loud for you or is it fine? It's loud for me. Uh, dig up the sand piles. Gotcha. And revert the ruined portrait. May I dig you? I think it's so funny when the characters are just standing around while you're doing things. <laughs> They're just overseeing all of the hard work. The sound is fine. Okay, good, good, good. Ah, so that's why this is half invisible. Well, no, but... Oh, there we go. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's beautifully painted. All done. How do you feel about it now? Oh, no, this isn't right at all. Um, it does look rather bare. Yeah, it does. It could use a spruce up. Ugh, I can't believe I have to tell you how to do everything. LeFou would know just what I want. <laughs> now, let me see. Yes. The whole lodge requires furniture and careful renovation. Tell me, is my old friend Scrooge McDuck still running that shop of his? Sure is. Excellent. He supplied funding before I set out from the valley. I am sure he'd want to invest in me again. Bring him some alexandrite, jade, and... Do you say the spinel or spinal? I don't know. He should be raring to fund this new venture. Okay. Well, you're coming with me, bro. His self-portrait. It's definitely... um, It's definitely a portrait. Actually, it probably wouldn't hurt to do a mining run because he's a miner and I need to level him up a little bit anyway. No luck with memories, of course. Has anybody finished any memories from the DLC? I think I'm really close with one of the Lilo and Stitch ones. But I haven't actually completed any. Hi, Yana. How are you? I 
love this tool set, by the way. I hope we get more tool sets like this that have neat animations on them. Why do I feel like there's something up here? No, I made it up. Okay. That's fine. Close to a few, but none completed either. It's... Yeah, I don't know if the way that getting memories has been adjusted with the DLC, but I feel like it's still just a random roll for all of the ones that exist, which makes it really hard to finish any. Mm, that looks like it's also Lilo and Stitch. Hi, Rebecca. You wish Lilo came to the valley to control Stitch? I mean, Stitch is not on too bad of behavior. At least I haven't noticed that he is. The yelling at me has definitely slowed in frequency, which is pretty nice. You have a few finished, Tanya. Oh my goodness. I need to work more. Work harder. Get it done. I just love the memories so much. They're probably one of my favorite things about the game, which might be weird, but it's true. Energy up, my friend. You play too much? No, I'm no hate whatsoever. I'm usually like that as well. I just haven't been quite as much recently since I went out of town. They never said they would put Lilo in game. Yeah, it would be nice if they did. It would be nice if they did. I feel like maybe eventually they could. But also, I feel like Lilo doesn't get enough appreciation. So it wouldn't surprise me if they don't. Level four. Oh, I thought we unlocked the hair. So close, but so far away. You finished your first two memories from the main valley this week. Amazing. You've been playing since August. Oh, yeah. The memories, it can be really hard, especially like as they add more. I feel like it's going to get harder and harder. OK, let's. Hop down here. This March, you start practice for the work course. Amazing. Do I have tea or coffee today? Oh, I have coffee today. Um, I have a Hawaiian hazelnut coffee. It's pretty delicious. You're handicapped, so these kinds of games are great for you. Something to do and enjoy the videos. Yeah, these games honestly are fabulous. I love playing these games, and I'm happy that you enjoy the videos. Still working on memories, especially watering flowers. Oh my goodness, the flower watering and the night thorns and... What's the other one? Oh, the feeding the critters ones. Take so long. An absolute eternity. You wish completing new memories would unlock new conversations with the characters. Oh, that would be amazing. Yeah, even if it was just like once you complete a memory from a collection, you could go to a character from that collection and they would just like talk to you about the memory. I don't know if that makes sense. It wouldn't even have to be anything like big or dramatic, but I think that would be really fun. That's a great idea. You should put that in the um, suggestions thread on the official Dreamlight Valley Discord server if you're a member there. Because that's a really good idea. You love hazelnut coffee. I don't usually do like flavored coffee. I'm usually just a plain coffee person. And then 
if I'm in the mood for something, I'll do like a flavored creamer or like a syrup. But this coffee is really good. I have this one and I have a vanilla macadamia nut coffee. Um, that my mom uses regularly and I brought back with me from Hawaii because it was really good. <laughs> I was like, I need this. <laughs> Do you get memories from Nightthorns using the vacuum? Yeah, I have. You know what I haven't gotten memories from using the vacuum, though? I haven't gotten them from gardening or from cooking. Well, that wouldn't be with the vacuum. That would be with the cooker and the, the gardener. I haven't gotten those. Which is a little bit unfortunate because I really thought that was going to be like my way to hack the system. <laughs> Hack the system being not cook things myself because I don't really enjoy mass cooking in this game whatsoever. And I was like, it's great. I'll just do time bending, which I enjoy, spend the mist on the auto cookers and get the memories from the auto cookers. But so far, I have not uh, had any memories from the auto cooker. So no bueno. You need one more snake in the red and white cappy. Oh, nice. Yeah, I still need the, I think it's like the green snake, the red and white capybara, and the black and white monkey. Whichever monkey is only there one day. I still need all three of those like rare ones. You need the most memories for cooking, but you need them for all categories. Yeah. The cooking just, I don't know. I feel like you get so few orbs and then it's like every time I open one, it's a coin and then I'm just upset. <laughs> you wonder if it's intentional that you get some memories from some ancient machines and not the others. I don't know. You got memories from the gardener? Wait, really? Oh, but only digging memories. Actually, now that you say that, I might have had a digging memory from the gardener. I think I was mostly thinking about um, actual gardening, though. You have all of the critters from the aisle. That's amazing. Yeah, I need to get better about... Like, I don't know the schedule of the rarer rarer critters so i need to get better about logging on every morning like i used to and checking if they're there hi angelica how are you why did i make guest on a minor because according to my spreadsheet i needed people to be minors um and or like i wanted another minor and i felt like he's always talking about how strong he is and mining just makes sense for something like this um however now pretty much everybody i have is a time bender so gaston is actually my only minor right now okay we have what we need But I think I might still just clear out this area. Get a little bit of extra friendship for him and say that we did it. The spreadsheet. Yeah, listen, also, um, you might be proud of me. <laughs> I don't actually know. There's no reason to be proud. I started <laughs> planning out um, or working on my my spreadsheet for where all of the buildings are going to go. Oh, my. Why did we... <laughs> Well, we got this hair. Let's check it out. Um, there are so many houses in the game. Obviously, we have a lot of villagers now, but when I was making a list of them, I hadn't realized how many we actually have. So that's going to be quite the process to decide where everything's going to go. OK, let's check out this hair. Um, Let me take that off for now. Doing pretty good. You kept some miners because of the grinding for getting jobs. Yeah, I'm going to end up putting everybody kind of back to what they're supposed to be because I 
Oh, no. <laughs> because I, um, listen, the back is kind of cute, though. I'm not going to lie. The front, uh, it exists. Um, oh, I was mostly uh, changing everybody to time benders to grind a bunch of parts and like mist and stuff. And for the most part, I've crafted the things I want. I'm wondering if there's a hat that fixes this. Um, so yeah, everyone's going to get returned to their things. <laughs> To their proper spots. Um, hmm. That one's not gonna. Oh no. Do we have like. That hairline is just giving hairline. It's giving a lot of forehead. It's giving a lot of forehead. Uh. And I feel like there's no way around it unless we wear like a baseball cap. In which case, it's kind of cute. <laughs> Guest on hair isn't the worst. It's not the worst, but it looks a little odd on my character. But we've definitely had... Ooh, it actually kind of slaps with the pirate hats. It doesn't not feel like a pirate hair. Okay, anyway, that was a fun adventure. What was I wearing before? Um, this. And just a little bun. A little bun bun. It's not the best either. True. Not the worst, not the greatest. But it's fun. Okay. Good times. I'm a little lost. I have not been here yet. Okay. How did I decide who had what task? Like mining? Um. So <laughs> it's quite the process. Um, essentially what I do is not looking like a founding father. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, <laughs> what was I saying? For deciding who to do what uh, role for. I listed every character. I usually do this once every couple of updates in case I need to switch people around. I hadn't done it for a little while, so I did it with the DLC since we were getting a bunch of new characters. Um... So I made a list in my notebook. Sometimes I do this on like an actual spreadsheet on the computer, but I made a list in my notebook of every single character. And then on another page, like the opposite page, so I could see them both at the same time, I wrote down all of the roles. Um, and then I go to the characters that I know to me have like a strong connection to one of the roles and I put them in the roles that I think that they absolutely have to be in. So like fishing for Goofy, um, gardening for, well, Minnie was a gardener. That's how it was for a long time. Um, or like who are other characters that like really felt tied to a role? Or like Merlin now for time bending. Like the ones that I'm like, they absolutely have to be this thing. And I put them in their role. And then I kind of look at how many characters I I try to have about an even number in each role. And then with the rest of them, I just kind of go through and I try to put characters and things that make sense, but also prioritize having a sort of even distribution. And it's a process. It usually takes me a long time to just like look at everything and decide who I want to put where. Hi, Nick Gamer. How are you? Okay, Hamilton. I was about to say this is my Hamilton audition with the with the Gaston hair, but you know. Uh wait, what do I need to give you? Oh, this and this and this. Give. 
I have more patience than you. You hate Gaston. Well, so far, he's just kind of been following me around and I've been ignoring his existence. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, these gems are magnificent. What brings you to see me with such a wonderful gift? I have an opportunity for you. An opportunity? I, you know me well. I'm always interested in a new opportunity. So I've been hanging out with Gaston. I like how uh, Ursula's just behind us. Just creeping. I think we actually just have her stuck. But anyway, uh, Gaston, ugh, I thought we were rid of that blowhard. OK, <laughs> does he still have more muscles than brains? Well, yes, <laughs> that's a way to describe him. I, I thought so. What does Gaston want? We're trying to fix up his lodge. I managed to restore some of it, but the interior is pretty bare. Think you could help out? Well, since you've brought me such a valuable gift, I suppose I could help supply you. That was a hard sentence for some reason. I think I have some furnishings in storage somewhere that would be appropriate for Gaston's unique tastes. Great. Now, those gems will get you quite a bit, but the rest won't come free. After all, I have a business to run. What would you want for them? A cut of the profits. 50% seems fair. Uh, how about 25%? You drive a hard bargain. But I can accept those terms. Great. But if you're trying to restore the same lodge that I remember, you might need more than furniture to return it to its former condition. It's true, the exterior is still falling apart. Never fear, you should be able to gather the resources you'll need for the renovations. The island should have the oasis glass, tropical wood, and copper to get the lodge fixed up. And here you are, one Gastonian chair and a crate of furniture. Thank ya! Tink Broadway debut when, listen. Unfortunately, never. However, <laughs> that would be really cool. Um, tropical wood, I need 15. I run around to these, um... Whatchamacallits. I can probably get enough here. You meant to put Rapunzel as a time bender, made her a gardener. Yeah, I think... I think I'm going to end up keeping Rapunzel as a time bender. That's another thing. Even though I mostly want the roles to be equal, I do want to keep one time bender from each collection. And Rapunzel will be my time bender from the Tangled Collection. Even Scrooge doesn't like Gaston? Oh no. Yeah, I feel like Scrooge doesn't really strike me as that much of a hater. Especially if someone's like giving him money or something. So the fact that he doesn't like Gaston, I feel like that says something. You don't watch a lot of YouTube lives. Is the join option the Twitch equivalent of subbing? Yeah, um, the join brings you to channel memberships, which are like Twitch um, subs. Oh, no. I'm really stuck. There we go. OK, Oasis Glass. I, I dig for that, right? Over here. I feel like that's how that works. Yeah, we got this. Thank you, everybody, for liking the stream. If you have, I really appreciate it. And um, if you haven't liked the stream and you're enjoying it, please consider pressing the like button. It helps me out a whole bunch. This might not be the best locale. I wonder if the Oasis actually has higher drops of this. That would make a lot of sense. You may change the villagers you don't hang out with often to time benders. Yeah, I feel like it's nice. I don't know. But then I'm like, hmm, it's really interesting to think about what other tools we may get in the future. I imagine we'll probably get another DLC this year, like probably in the fall again. Um, 
And I wonder if that's going to come with a new tool, so then I'll have to rearrange everybody all over again. But honestly, I don't know why I'm acting like that's a bad thing. I live for that kind of thing. <laughs> I love making lists and organizing things like that. So that would actually be enjoyable for me. Oh, uh, thank you so much for pressing the like button. I appreciate it. Oh, you can hit the things too. Good to know. We are good, but thank you for that reminder. All right, Gaston, I have these things for you. I was digging for Oasis Glass, Kitty. You're back. I, I was, er, never mind. I wasn't worried at all. Sir, you've been here the entire time. Um, were you concerned? What? No, I wasn't. I never thought for a moment that you'd fail to return. Aw, Gaston, did my absence remind you of LeFou? No. But if it did, it's only because I'm an excellent leader to follow and not because I miss anyone. Oh, poor buddy. I don't actually, wait, what? <laughs> Was that empathy? Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, it's okay. I'm not, well, uh, uh, moving on. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> yes, good idea. Now then, I see you got supplies from McDuck. Yep, he does want a cut of the profits from the lodge, though. Huh? Profits? You know, the money left over after expenses. <laughs> the lodge is a place for me to relax and for others to appreciate me, not spend money. Well, Scrooge won't be happy about that. He's expecting 25% of the profits. He wanted 50, but I managed to negotiate him down to 25%. Well done. Hmm, I believe a share of zero is still zero, isn't it? You know what? Fair enough. That's Scrooge's fault for not asking for a business plan. Let's go fix things up. Marvelous. Start at the Scrooge McDuck sign in front of the lodge. All right, we can do that. Yeah, I shocked myself a little bit with the uh, feeling... Or Gaston in his plight. Caught me by surprise. You don't know what to call them. What are they? Wait, what are what, Amanda? Oh, wow. You ran over there quickly. Repair Gaston's lodge using the Scrooge McDuck sign. Okay. This won't do at all. Whoa, wasn't expecting you to pop up there. Usually Scrooge McDuck handles the building renovations. <laughs> Good thing it's me and not McDuck. He isn't exactly the brawny type. Now, let's get to work. On it. Sure. Oh, wait, does this mean I'm going to be able to move it now? Hey! You know what I was thinking about this morning, actually? Uh, I'll explain after this. Uh, there we go. It's starting to take shape now. Why can't I move my camera? Oh, well. Let's go inside and you can admire how I'm a skilled decorator as well. Okay. Um, I was thinking, remember in the showcase for the DLC? Well, I mean, it wasn't, well, it wasn't technically a showcase for the DLC, but it was it was a showcase for the DLC. Um, it showed what looks like our purple cottage, but it had this orange roof. And... I feel like the theory that we had was that it was going to be coming to the premium shop. Like it would be a purple cottage, but it would have it would just be like the orange cottage or something. I wonder if that was actually an old version of Gaston's house and they changed it to be a premium shop house. And this is a new version. I don't know. The robot. Is, wait, why? What's wrong with the robot? It's the best. Oh, the sand dunes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Listen. This is kind of cute. Of all of the interiors for people's things, this isn't that bad, except for this glitchy portrait. Good thing I was here. With your puny muscles, it would have taken you weeks to move in all the new furnishings and fix the exterior. Um, listen, I can't even lie. <laughs> I'm just happy you helped at all. 
Well, we have a deadline. We do. Arg. My stomach. Grumble, grumble, groan. Me. <laughs> Very me. Was that your stomach? My stomach is complaining. It's been a good hour since I last ate. Let's swing by Shea Remy. The food there is amazing. If you can call it food, not a steak or a cut of venison in sight. I've got a better idea. Uh, of course you do. New name. Hello. Welcome in. Well, thank you so much for stopping by briefly and saying hey. I hope you're having a wonderful day and continue to have a great day. You like Gaston's home, but you feel like it's more of a Tangled theme. It has a lot of the Tangled furniture. But for being like a little tavern thing. It looks cute, like it looks fitting for what it is. Before the forgetting, I was on the trail of a mythical relic of legend. Also, the Beauty and the Beast collection doesn't really have a whole lot of items that would suit this. It's mostly like the more regal sort of fancy items. Um, a mythical relic of legend. Oh, yes. Some sort of enchanted chest full of delicious cuts of meat. Okay, is it a refrigerator? Yeah, <laughs> an enchanted meat freezer? Perhaps, I was never sure what that was. Legend has it that it was destroyed long ago in some sort of magical calamity. Pieces of it were scattered around the area that grew into the wild tangle. I bet they're still there. I found these plans for it by some of those glowing ruins. Whatever or whoever came up with this is a far more useful inventor than Belle's father. Okay, unnecessary. Welcome to the meat market. Oh, not the meat market. Hi, Liza. How are you? But there's some sort of barrier around the pieces. I would get close and then things would become strange. I think they might be lost in time. Now, I've got big plans for this creation. If you can help me put it back together with that hourglass of yours, then I can open a stall to supply meat to everyone. Hmm. Well, I'll see what I can do. Excellent. Don't take too long. Otherwise, I may be forced to eat a vegetable. Oh no. Heaven forbid. Move along. I'm done with you now. What? <laughs> Not I'm done with you now. Okay. <laughs> the freezer of infinite meat schematics. Oh my goodness. <laughs> schematics for a freezer that can dispense infinite amounts of meat. That was it? Okay. I thought something was going to pop up or something. Uh, search for freezer fragments in the wild tangle using the hourglass in the lower grasslands, upper grasslands, and in the grove. Okay. Sir, are you still hanging out with me? We got stuff to do. And you need to come along because you need to level up. Oh, I also need to give him things. For like his daily gifts. And I should probably have a conversation with him. All of those things will help to level him up. Okay, um, what do you want? Blue Zircon. I don't know this recipe. And tin. Here, have this. Hi, Angela. Hi, Chrissy. How are you? This is worthy of Gaston. Okay, anyway. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Hi, Gaston. <laughs> Good day. Have you seen Belle? I would not tell you if I had, my man. Uh, what do you want with Belle? Well, I suppose telling you can't hurt. I'm afraid Belle is in grave danger. She needs someone to stop her from going down a horrid path. One filled with books. Those things are full of ideas, you know. Sir, I'm not the one to help you convince somebody not to read. Do you know me? <laughs> um, I'd advise against that. What? Why? I'm Gaston, just look at me. Okay, but don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Good chat, buddy. Uh, lower grasslands, upper grasslands, and the grove. Would it surprise anyone to know I don't know where those are? I, okay. Ah, yes, the grasslands, of course. He just can't stop flexing. I mean, to be fair, the man does have muscles. 
as someone who has never been in that kind of shape, I can't really judge. A piece of the freezer of infinite meat long hidden on the promenade. Maybe it could still be repaired. Hmm. You will never leave Maurice alone. I know. Like, let that old man rest in peace. Not rest in peace. <laughs> I meant, I meant leave him alone. <laughs> Just leave him alone. So full of himself. Oh, absolutely. Oh, I guess that was the piece that I was looking for. It doesn't help that they look exactly the same as the materials that we gather. I thought I didn't get what I needed. Uh, hidden in the grasslands. Okay. And now we need one in the grove. Ah, yes. Okay. Up here and around here. This should be right. It's going to take me so long to actually get used to what area is what area. Does that make sense? I still get lost all the time in the wild tangle. Oh, this one looks different. OK. Assemble the freezer of infinite meat at a time bending table. OK, we can do that. While we're here, though. Not rest in peace. Listen, I meant it, but not in that way. What? What is happening with Maurice? Where is he at right now? Is he OK? Yeah, we'll just do some mining on our way to our house. Get some resources, work on leveling Gaston up. I definitely have some Zircon um, at home. So I can grab that for one of his favorite gifts when we get there. I'm thinking that this area in Ancient's Landing, I'm going to have like the more built up area. So I'm thinking when I decorate it, I'm going to end up moving Scrooge's over here as well. And then I'm going to keep the docks area more. More like looking like. It's the remnants of an old. Area. Not like completely ruins, but it's not going to be like popping, if that makes sense. Not having a set mining route for the aisle. Oh, trust me, I do not. I've done quite a bit of mining around the aisle, but I don't have a... Gaston, do you mind? That's singing. <laughs> but um, I definitely don't have a set mining route yet. I need to figure one out, though. I'm sure it would make things a lot more efficient. Was that it? I don't know why his singing disturbed me almost as much as when the Forgotten sings. Oh, I'm hoping that soon I can be part of your world. Okay. Freezer of infinite meat. Let's do it. I still love that animation. It's so good. OK, that's it. We got it. Oh, I should have looked and see. Hmm. Well, it's fine. Here we go. One freezer of infinite meat as requested. Nicely done, LeFou. Um, thanks, Gaston. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're a good sidekick, but you could be a little quicker. I almost died of hunger. I wonder if Ursula is following Ariel. Uh, I think that's an exaggeration. 
I don't know the meaning of the word. Okay, I get it, Gaston. You're really hungry. Yes, but what does exaggeration mean? It means that you overstate things. <laughs> I do not. When I say I'm exceedingly charming and handsome, that's the truth. One question, Gaston. <laughs> Where does the meat come from? I am not sure. I was going over the plans and there were just so many words. Something about crystal metastructures, the holographic some such, and atomic reconstus something or other. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You did the same thing. Scrooge's looks better next to Remy's. Yeah, it, it's just not giving where it's currently located. So I want to move it and have those two places together for sure. Whatever that all is, it's not from hunting. Uh, fascinating. It creates the, f the food from nothing at a molecular level. <laughs> Enough book talk. Let's get the stall working. Let's do it. I'm actually excited about the stall. Reopen Gaston's old stall in the desert using the Scrooge McDuck sign. Gaston sings. Yeah, I feel like most of the characters sing a little bit. They either sing or play music. But I wasn't expecting it from Gaston, and I didn't enjoy it very much. It's not that it was bad, it was just that it was so jarring for some reason. I kind of wish we could turn these spheres off and on. I feel like they get in the way of things a lot. Kind of like how I wish we had a toggle to turn on and off the spawnable resources. To keep the valley a little bit cleaner. I think that would be a really nice addition. You know what else I was thinking about recently? I hope at some point we get the option to um, copy and paste rooms, which I don't think we're ever going to be able to do, but... I always get a little bit nervous about decorating because I like to keep all of my storage areas kind of together. So if I start decorating on like the third floor and I already have my storage on the second floor, I'd have to move everything from the third floor if I need to expand my storage. I don't know if that makes sense, but like within your house, I wish you could like move rooms between floors without having to just like undecorate them and decorate them again. One of my wish list items for sure. Or like wish list features, I guess. Wanted to pop in and say hello. Can't be here long, but wanted to say that you like the stream. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a good day. Thank you for stopping by to say hi. Copy and paste would be nice, but even being able to reorder the floors would be nice too. Yeah, or even that, just like rearranging the, yes. I mean, I was just going to repeat exactly what you said, but yes, that would be such a great quality of life thing for people who decorate. You want to be able to move floors of your house and rearrange where the number floor is, like move the eighth to the fifth, yeah. I feel like that might actually be just as beneficial as copying rooms and it might actually be more feasible from a programming level. Although again, I'm not a game programmer, so I don't know for sure, but it feels like the kind of thing that would be easier to do than like actually copying rooms over. Greetings, neighbor. Well, bless my heart, Gaston finally got his stall supplied with meat. Let's get it fixed up. Uh, let's set up the stall. Look at all that tasty meat. I'm already salivating. Ursula, do you mind? <laughs> oh, okay. I like the jar of star coins right there. And Ursula gliding. <laughs> she wasn't even walking. <laughs> Marvelous. Meat is available again, and everyone will know they have Gaston to thank when I throw a roaring party for the village at my lodge. Uh, I think I'm getting used to not getting credit. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you're really settling into your role as a sidekick. 
Now then, I've heard that not only do you have the power to control time, but you're a cook, too? I dabble. Good. Once you buy some meat, you can whip up a solid meal for me. Excuse me? Buy the meat? I worked so hard to get your stall going again, and you're making me pay? Of course. If I give you any for free, then everyone will expect it to all be free. Okay. Um, I still think you should make an exception for me. I know how sidekicks like to gossip. If I make an exception for you, the whole valley will know before long. Now, think carefully about what you're going to cook for me. You sure? I'm kind of new to cooking with these ingredients. Well, there are a few writings about food around here, or just... Just make something. Be sure it's large and meaty. Okay. A couple meat dishes, no problem. A couple? No, no, that won't do. I want everyone at my gathering to know how generous a host I am. Uh... Anything else, your highness? <laughs> That's so sassy. You would love a clear room button for a room to put everything back in your inventory? Ooh, that would be nice too, yeah. Just completed your first Eternity Isle memory. Congratulations. Which one was it? Um, okay. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have encouraged him. Bring me four meat-based dishes. Understood? Yep. All right. I guess let's do it. Cook any meat-based meal of two stars or higher for Gaston. Let's do it. No worries, Tanya. Thank you for stopping by. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Oh, they ain't playing with this. A thousand dollars for a rack of venison? I mean, a thousand star coins for a rack of venison? Um, I'm going to buy just like a few of these. I mean, we have the money, but it's the principle of the thing. Um... I have to make some meals. Let me go to a place where I can cook. Let's also clean this up. I love my little robot companion. It's the best. You stocked up on 150 of each one. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to get like a whole supply of them. But for now, just a couple will do. I already have a spot in my storage all set up. Princess and the Frog, them singing on lily pads. Oh my goodness. Now I'm so jealous. I need the Princess and the Frog memories so badly. Oh, I can't wait till we get Tiana. I can't wait till we get some Princess and the Frog items. Wow. Like furniture items clothing items it's gonna be amazing i can't wait to see what her house looks like i hope she gets like a restaurant because otherwise we riot you just put a cooking station by the stand yeah that works but we also just have one over here and should probably keep mining the rock spots as i see them help gaston level up a bit oh we also need to grab that zircon let me do that first, maybe. Ha! Oh, sweet. Uh, that looks like it's a motif, which is actually unfortunate because at first when I saw it, I thought it was going to be like a wall item. And even though that's not my style necessarily, it would be a really cool item to have for some decorating things. Let me grab this Zircon first. You're so poor. I have so many coins. Listen, I've been playing this game so much. Like, I have... Probably close to 1500 hours on this game. Actually, it's really funny. My partner games and we game on the same PC and the same Steam account, even though we play totally different games. And he came to me the other day. He said, I was looking through my Steam library and guess how many hours you have on Disney Dreamlight Valley. And I was like, I know it's a lot. I was like, I don't know how many I have on Steam, but like on my game as a whole, I have probably 1500 hours or so. He said, you have like 800 hours on Steam. And I said, I know. He said, the most hours I have on any game is like 350. And I said, well, <laughs> well, that feels like more of a reflection of you than it does of me. Um, <laughs> he 
He just like plays a lot of different games a little bit. He doesn't really, I mean, 350 hours isn't a little bit, but where did Gaston go? Are you coming? I think he's coming. I was just going outside to give him this, but he's taking his sweet time getting here. But he thought it was funny that I had so many hours on it. Might want to stock up. They don't spawn every day. Oh, the meat. OK, I will. I will. We're getting Tiana this winter, right? Um, I think summer. So the way that it worked last time around, um, it seems like the summer will probably be July. Are these under like fish or something? Are they just under all? No restaurant equals riots. I agree. Like, um, a respectful riot, but a riot nonetheless. My belly is actually a little bit grumbling now. I feel like there's a strong chance that we can just use one of these and, like, who is making Who's making that sound? I didn't like it. Oh. Anyway. 300, those are baby numbers, right? I mean, he games as much as I do. He just like spreads the wealth between multiple games. A roast. I'll take it. Oh, it's a one star. Never mind. <laughs> uh, what can we make? Can we make like I definitely don't know any recipes that include meat, I don't think, that I just picked up anywhere. You know what? We'll figure it out. They don't filter underneath anything but all. That's a shame. A major shame. Maybe we can, like, look at the recipes and figure it out. I think we can probably do that. Goofy be judging. I know, like he was standing right up on me. I don't know what that was about. I don't know if he was the one making the noises. Gaston is at level nine. It takes so long to get them at level 10. Yeah, leveling characters up. I feel like they made it harder in one of the more recent updates because it does seem to take longer. Um, I have this for you, by the way. Good night, Nina. Thank you so much for coming to the stream. I appreciate it. Dropping the garlic. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I forgot because like I go between my controller and my mouse. So when I'm using the, you know, what am I saying? <laughs> when I'm using the controller, I can just click on the ingredient. But when I go to the mouse, I have to drag it over. What items do you need from the time bending table? Have you made any of the special ones? Oh, I made all of the fragments. Actually, I recently um, on a stream a little bit ago, a couple days ago, we made like a little display room for all of the fragments. Wait, let me look at these. How did I get so much Dreamlight? Um, I've been playing for a very long time. And I actually haven't made much Dreamlight recently. I've been just um, living off of what I had. But I used to just grind out Dreamlight duties. A turkey leg with four ingredients? Y'all, this is a little much. I usually try to just guess the recipes, but I think we might consult the wiki for this one. Hi, Jamie. How are you? Uh, Mike from Monsters, Inc. that's coming in the winter. Yeah, uh, Mike and Sully are both coming. Really Probably next month. Based on the update schedule that they had last year. Probably next month. But I guess technically it could be March. Um, but yeah, 
that'll be a fun one. And then after that, it seems like possibly Daisy. I'm doing well, Jamie. Thank you for asking. OK, let me actually. We're going to do a little bit of a. Um, it's not a no, no, it's just. Getting um, we're phoning a friend <laughs> and I'm going to look up a recipe or two on the wiki. Uh, can I look up recipes? Uh, recipes. Hmm. That's not helpful. I'm going to have to actually pull this over here because when it's minimized like that, I can't search. No worries, Liza. Thank you so much for coming to the stream. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Hopefully February anyway, because you need new content already. Really, Kitty, have you finished decorating um, the aisle? What am I looking for? I'm looking for recipes. I know my screen is frozen. I'm sorry. I'm currently navigating the wiki. Um, meals. There it is. OK, um, meal recipes. How about we do a uh, turkey leg? Sure. We'll do some tandoori chicken. We'll do. Uh, wait, can we? Yeah, and we can do that one and we'll do. Can we do this royal burger? Uh, should be able to and we'll do. Cold pork? Sure. Okay, okay. Using your resources, not cheating. Okay. Well, that works. I like that a little bit better than, um, than cheating. Uh, pork, onion, tomato. And oregano. Cold pork. That uh, does not look very appetizing. I'm going to say that. You need an excuse to pro procrastinate decorating the aisle? Well, if you need an excuse, I'm probably going to be starting to decorate maybe not, maybe this coming up weekend or the weekend after. So if you wanted to wait and decorate while I decorate, there's your excuse. But also you could just decorate. OK, now we're going to make I don't know what this is, actually. Mystery meal, um, <laughs> pork, venison, delicious. I don't actually don't know if venison is delicious. I've never had it before. I just said that um, wheat cheese and any vegetable asparagus why not doesn't look like pulled pork right star path just ended so you think it's soon i still think it's gonna be valentine's day i know we haven't gotten any tips or like hints yet but i really still think it's gonna be valentine's day i'm fine with being wrong but Something in my spirit. I mean, it's not even something in my spirit. It's literally just like an educated guess based on when they did it last year. OK, and we need poultry. You made him a meat pie. Nice. We needed four, right? Am I making these for nothing? Anyway. You wish the chests with the massive storage could be made with mist instead of dreamlight since mist is really easy to collect. Really, I feel like dreamlight's easier to collect. Well, in some ways I do feel like dreamlight is easier to collect. Okay, and then we have human paprika um agave and poultry. Venison is really nice. The only thing I really know about it is that apparently it's really difficult to cook, right? And if you overcook it, it's not very good. I know this because of MasterChef. Will I be your Valentine? Girl, 
You can't ask me in public. Crossing your fingers for a Valentine star path. I know uh, a lot of people thought we were going to get one last year and we didn't. So that might be kind of fun. The only thing I will say about a Valentine star path is how I feel kind of about all holiday star paths. I like the idea of having like holiday themed items, but I feel like the theming has to be kind of um, not sparse enough or I like it if there are still items that are usable outside of the holiday. Like if we got a bunch of things that were pink with red hearts all over them, I would never use them apart from decorating a little bit for the holiday, but kind of more generic uh, things that still kind of suit the holiday, like romantic -y items I would prefer because then I could use them year round. Finally made it to Sonic and you're upset there's no longer any watermelon flavoring for the slushies. Watermelon flavored slushy. I don't know if I've ever had that before. Last year was mid-February. Yeah, I think it was uh, the 13th of February. And then April, June, and July. Yeah. I anticipate that we'll probably end up with around the same schedule this year. Isn't Dreamlight more precious because of the cost to unlock realms? I think so, but also it's easier to get because you can grind the duties or you can also just make it from from dream shards. And a lot of people have a lot of extra dream shards because if you collect them and you've been playing for months and months, like I have. Are you two OK? I have like, I don't know, at least two rows of them. And every time I go over that two rows, I just convert it to uh, Dreamlight. More romantic than Valentine's Day, you agree? Yeah, that's what I would prefer. Kitty, not the peer pressure. Oh, I can't even see him. Um, it's fine. I have OBS open so I can see the chat, but I couldn't see to make sure that YouTube Studio was fine. Uh, here you go, Gaston. Four meals as promised. Good. People have already started to arrive. Oh, wow. You've got quite the crowd. Oh, I didn't even see Remy there. Of course, everyone wants to celebrate Gaston. Now I will welcome them and be the life of the party once more. I'm surprised Scrooge is here. I feel like he must be here for some petty reason. He doesn't even like Gaston. He's just here to get the tea <laughs> and to share it with everybody. Ah, uh, well, don't let me stop you. Hmm? Are you shaking? Are you nervous about talking to people? What? Of course not. If I'm shaking, it's from hunger. Spending years alone in the desert hasn't made me nervous around people, and I'm offended that you'd think that. Hmm. Oh boy, projection alert. <laughs> I guess I'll head out for now. No, you must stay. I can't do this without you. Or, I mean, I have further tasks for you. You must help me make sure this event is a success. Talk to everyone. Make them feel welcome. All right, all right. Calm down. I'll make the rounds. Okay, we got this. We got this. Would love items like the date table from Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, things like that. Or I wouldn't mind things that were like pinky colors or like red colors, but kind of like for the winter star path, it was more just like wintry stuff. It wasn't like Christmassy stuff. I really appreciated that because I can use it more. Hey, Rapunzel, how are you enjoying the party? It's, well, the decor is interesting, isn't it? Is that coming off of Gaston? Ooh. That'd be cool if you could make that work for a dream snap. I call it retro rugged. Gaston looks happy with the way it turned out. You don't think it's a little much? It seems to suit him, and I can't really judge. You might think the decorations were odd in the place where I was hiding in the jungle. I can't even imagine what Mother would have said. I'm sure it was lovely. Could I talk to you? Thank you. Wow, it's so nice to be around people again. Though I did meet Gaston once when I was exploring. I'm so glad he's come out of his shell now. Really? He was more restrained in the past? 
Well, he just seemed lonely. He was building himself a friend out of coconuts. When he saw me, he tried to pretend it wasn't there. It was kind of awkward. Oh, that tracks. He was a little sensitive about being so lonely. I think he just needed a friend, even if it was a friend made out of coconuts. I'll let you get back to the gathering now. Have fun. Villagers love a new place to hang out. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't mind them giving us a Queen of Hearts ball gown? Ooh, I would love that. Put that in the... <laughs> Me just telling everybody to go to the official Dreamlight Valley Discord server and put things in the suggestions thing. That would be awesome. Uh, hey, Mr. McDuck, having fun? Hi, it's a grand gathering. But I'm here on business too. Gotta check up on how my investment's progressing. The furnishings cost me a pretty penny, and I want to know when I can recoup my costs. Ooh, um, well, uh, <laughs> when do you think I'll start receiving my 20% cut? How about right now? Here's zero star coins. <laughs> uh, Gaston doesn't actually have an income stream. He just wanted this place so people could pay attention to him. What? Sorry, I only realized after I got back to him. Guess you should have asked for a business plan, eh? Oh no. Did you just get outsmarted by Gaston? Oh no. Uh, yeah. Essa Bella Rose, hello, how are you? I hope we can keep this little misstep between us. Of course. No income stream, sigh. Well, at least the food is good. good All right, um, Scrooge, would you mind scooting out of the way so I can speak with Remy, please? there hello how's my favorite chef doing huh? just fine but uh that gaston is pretty big and a little intimidating huh uh personality or physicality <laughs> both but it's fine i'm sure he's totally harmless but hey we've got to talk about that new meat freezer uh. i'd go to a party with a dozen gastons to get my paws on some new ingredients any new recipes in mind? <laughs> oh, so many. Pulled pork. Shit, I don't know how to pronounce that. Even, maybe even some turnip tar tartiflette? Remy, I think that's a little too fancy for me. Um, well, don't let me get in the way of your inspiration. Yeah. I'm gonna go mingle until Gaston unlocks the freezer for me, and then I'm off to test some recipes. Glad you're not the only one who hasn't finished his quests. You can only handle him in doses following you around. Oh, no. What did I say? I don't know. What did I say? A dozen Gastons. Could you imagine? It would be... I don't know. I feel like... The world might implode. Even this magical fantasy world might implode a little bit if there were 12 Gastons in one area. Hi, Evelyn. Uh, what an excellent day and what an excellent party. How do you think it went? Uh, it went well. Just well? Then I guess you should have worked harder. <laughs> the rat seemed particularly pleased about putting meat on his menu. But more importantly, everyone knows that I'm back. Oh, Gaston. <laughs> You're nearly narcissistic. Nearly? Nightmares? Wait, what did I say? Oh no. Now you got me concerned. Uh, nearly narcissistic. Why thank you, LeFou, and you are an adequate sidekick. You know what? Thank you, Gaston. Now go do whatever you do when you're not complimenting me. I'm going to sit back and enjoy my success. All right, until next time. So rude and conceited. Well, yes. You kind of like him. He's somewhat of a nice character. Well. <laughs> well. He hasn't done anything to actively try to um, hurt us or anything in the valley. So I guess that's good. It's better than some people. He's not on my list like Mother Gothel and Scar are. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh. I feel like I probably didn't, though. I mean, if I did, it wouldn't be the first time it accidentally happened on stream, but... Who knows? Who knows? Good night, Yana. I hope you sleep well. Okay, that was that. Let's go break some more rocks. Have I done my dream snap yet? I did. I I did. <laughs> the uncertainty that I had. I was like, did I do my dream snap? Um, I did. I still don't know if I hate it yet. Um, it's just not like. I feel like the average person's idea of sporty. But here's the thing, and I feel like everybody has been saying this. We don't have the things that we need to make something like properly sporty, like outfits. Sure. But anything to like set the scene, not really. So I just made this little like. You know, V8 Cafe, Lightning McQueen race car racer. I don't know. It was not my favorite week. I'm interested to see what our theme is next week. I know Gaston has a quest ready for me, but I'm just going to mine a few rock spots first. So they're out of the way. They can regenerate. We're gamers, not sporters, right? It also feels like a little bit of an odd choice. <laughs> I mean, not that there's zero overlap between liking games and being sporty, but... This felt like an interesting choice for Dreamlight Valley. You agree? Didn't know what to do for it? Yeah, it was a hard one. It's cute. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I mean, the picture, I think, is cute and fine. I just don't know that it'll necessarily do that well because I don't think it's like what people automatically think of as sporty. But for the theme, I like it. I, I like the picture, so I'm OK with it. It was difficult and not in a good way. Yeah, I feel like the thing is, I. How do I explain this? I kind of understand that it's probably quite difficult to come up with themes for Dream Snaps just because. I don't know, coming up with things is hard sometimes, but also I feel like. Sometimes it feels like the ideas are nice in theory, but they don't work with the items that we have in game. Like this sporty theme would be a lot better, I think, if we had more items that suited it. But we just don't. So sometimes I feel like the themes don't match what we have. And then sometimes I also feel like the tags don't match the theme, which can make it hard. I don't think that was the case this time, but it definitely has in other weeks. Have I tried the new Pal World game? I haven't. I really don't know anything about it. I haven't watched any gameplay. Um, well, the only thing I know about it is it's apparently kind of like Pokemon. I haven't been like too interested in learning about it, to be completely honest. But I might catch somebody's stream at some point or a VOD or something just to see how it looks. You did a candy racer for your dream snap. Nice. Going to lurk while attempting to play on Xbox. Nice. Thank you for hanging out and lurking. I appreciate it. OK, energy low. OK, continuing on. You don't even have the race car. Yeah, the Lightning McQueen thing was from the first ever Star Path. I know we still have Penelope's race car that you get just through her quest, so that's an option. Um, yeah, there are some things you can do. I don't, I don't know. I was looking at a couple people's on like various discord servers and things like that. And I feel like I mostly saw people doing just like generic. I don't mean this in a bad way. I just mean like the vibe of it was like generic athletic wear 
and either going for like a hiking kind of vibe or I saw a couple people try to do like a baseball sort of vibe. Um, but I didn't really see as much variety amongst pictures this week as I usually do, which I think is also a reflection of the theme being a little bit of a more difficult one. You've seen some pretty creative yoga studios. Oh, I did see a couple yoga uh, studios as well. You never played it and probably won't. Uh, Pal World? Yeah, I really don't know anything about it. I know there were a couple like controversies around it, but I didn't really... I mostly just was aware that they existed, but I didn't even really look into those that much just because I... I hadn't heard of the game before it came out. So I wasn't really having much of an intention to play it. You wish the robot companion did more? I hope the companions actually get a bit of an overhaul or like an update at some point. I think it would be nice if they picked up the extra things that are just lying on the ground for you. Even if there was like a little bit of a... A little bit of a friendship system or something where as you interact with them or like the more you have them out with you and like the more you pet them the higher your relationship with them is and when you have a high relationship with them then they'll pick up the like extra drops or stuff like that i think that would be pretty cool You saw a fishing one for the dream snap? You don't know what you did for dream snap. You have to look. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not my favorite, but eh, it's, it's a fine theme. You're expecting 300 moonstones, but you just weren't inspired. Yeah, I don't necessarily ever go into dream snaps expecting a certain rank or amount of moonstones because I feel like anytime I try to guess how I'm going to do I end up being wrong <laughs> so I I don't know but even if we didn't have moonstones as rewards I would probably still do dream snaps just because it's a fun way to spend a bit of time being creative and even if I end up with 300 Moonstones, it's more than I had before, so I'll take it. That would be something to suggest in their Discord server. Wait, I can't even remember what I said. <laughs> That's the most me thing ever. I'm like, what did I say? Okay, Gaston, what do you have for us? <laughs> You're just in time. Oh, about the companions. Oh, thank you, thank you. I, my brain was still on dream snaps. <laughs> um, what am I just in time for? Mm -hmm. You're just in time to entertain me. I've grown bored. <sighs> Go on, do something amusing. I don't know why I come see you. <laughs> <laughs> because you idolize me, of course. <laughs> uh, you're not at this point yet. Yeah, I feel like, especially with the DLC, it's like the biggest drop of content we've had since the game released. So it's interesting to see how different people approached it. I haven't done anything with Gaston until now, but I had finished all of the main story of the DLC and I finished Rapunzel's quests. Uh, what do you normally do for fun? I hunt and then talk about my success. No, not happening here. Well then, don't just stand there. Suggest something. What about fishing? Ah. Do I look like an old man sleeping through his life? Wow, shots fired. Um, well... 
for the stream snap you tried to use as many tags as you could you're not expecting anything yeah i ugh. i think i maybe just exceeded the tags I was not joking, but sigh. I will tell you, and only you, I have fished before. During my time in the Glittering Dunes, I tried fishing in the quicksand. It did not go well. Oh, well, why don't we try fishing in the Tangle? The fish there might be easier to catch, but they're far more dangerous. Danger? Now you've got my attention. Oh yeah, there are piranhas, electric eels, and even those weird prisma shrimp. What are we waiting for, then? I bet I can find a spot with more interesting fish than you. Um, sir? Alright, let's go fish. Gaston's quests were actually so funny. I do find him pretty funny. More funny than, like... Annoying, if that makes sense. I didn't always feel this way. I don't, tech, like, usually feel this way in the movie, but the way they made him in the game, I think, is kind of funny. You saw that Gaston's wig gives you one extra playful point, really? Have this eel. <laughs> Aren't I the best at fishing? Wait, what? The fish that I caught? Did you really go fishing? Of course. Now, like any hunting trip, I'll have a new trophy. How do you think it will look on my wall next to the fish I caught? Um, as long as they don't start singing. Do mounted fish do that here? No, no, they do not. So did the fishing scratch your itch for adventure? Actually, no, but I did find a piece of a compass while fishing. Oh, okay. A piece of a compass? Strange. Yes, I had completely forgotten about it, but the memories are starting to come back. I found a compass ages ago. It had some sort of enchantment on it, and it was leading me to amazing treasures. Sadly for me, the compass has broken apart since I last saw it. No worries, I'll try to find the rest of the compass. Maybe it will lead us to more treasure. Hey, I give the orders around here. But, yes. Wait, what orders do that? <laughs> the singing fish, you remember those? What a point in time, right? Minty Llama, hello, how are you? Stream is going pretty well, all things considered. We're almost to level 7 friendship with Gaston, which is pretty good, I guess. Considering, well, he was like level 3 when we started today. Docks, Oasis, and Grasslands. Okay. And we unlocked uh, the Eternal Meat Freezer. I don't know. Eternity Meat Freezer? So now we got a rotating supply of stuff from Gaston Stall. What do you need help with, Shan? Okay. I can't wait to get in here and clear everything out. I want to look at the biomes just completely empty or as close to empty as possible to really figure out where I want to put homes and buildings like for now i think i want mirabelle um well mini casita down in the lagoon but i won't know until i get like a better a better perspective on everything uh what about the rapunzel quest Let's see, where else? Up here. Oh, I also didn't check to see if I can move Gaston's um, lodge now. 
that's where you put Casita. I think it would look really good there, but there's also a couple other areas I think it could work. But it's hard to really get the lay of the land with all of the trees and everything. But I don't really want to remove everything until I'm done questing. So that's kind of why I'm putting it off. Also, because even though I feel like I have a lot of content right now that I need to work through, I feel like most likely the Monsters Inc. update content will go by really quickly. So I'm trying not to rush, even though I feel a little bit rushed. Uh, Grasslands. Oh, right over here where I was. Yeah, Shan, if you tell us the specific quest and which ingredient you're looking for, we will probably be able to help you. Oh, my inventory's full. Well, fiddlesticks. Um, let me just go over here and drop some stuff. Actually, let me go over here and drop some stuff. I think the sand fountain will look nice as a pixie dust tree. Oh, fun. I have the, sa uh, the sand fountain up um, on my like storage floor, just as a centerpiece in the main room. What am I looking for? Storage. I'll put this stuff away later. I know that's probably not the best way to go about this, but you know what? It is what it is. Let me put these up here. I do want to get more of that so I can um, stock up a little bit. Put all of this stuff away. I'll keep some of these because I'm sure I'm going to be mining more. Yeah, and we'll keep that. Okay. Uh, doing well. You were late to work this morning and the day keeps getting better. Oh, no. Went to the store and somehow got the wrong tuna. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. One time I went to the store, <laughs> it was recently, that's why I'm thinking about it. I went to the store and I wanted to get uh, Moose Tracks ice cream and I did, but I got like a brownie Moose Tracks on accident instead of the regular one. And let me just tell you, it was not as delicious, not even a little bit. You would think Moose Tracks, brownies, great. However, that was not the case. Which characters do I think will come next? Well, we pretty much have the roster of the characters that we're going to be getting in the first half of the year. We're getting Mike and Sully in the next update, probably in a couple of weeks or so. Um, In probably around April, it seems like we're getting Daisy Duck. And after that, a Mulan realm. So probably Mulan, maybe Shang, maybe Mushu. After that, it's... What's after that? Is after that Tiana? When your pockets get full, you get an infinity chest and then put it away when you get home. I sometimes do that, but mine has a lot of stuff in it at the moment. I just really need to um, actually set up my biome storage. I just haven't done it yet here. So once I do that, it'll be easier when I'm running around foraging things or collecting things. Thank you for answering those questions, Giddy. I appreciate it. And uh, anyone else who answered. Oh, this isn't where I need to be. I need to be up at the Oasis. 
Aladdin plays with Mike and Sully? I don't think so. We haven't. Um, some people think we might be getting Aladdin in the next part of the DLC, which is probably going to be in that April update. Um, but I don't actually think we're getting Aladdin in that. Um, I think it's going to be someone else. Okay, sweet. Reassemble the compass at a time bending table. We can do that. Moose tracks is the one with like tiny Reese's in it. Yeah, it usually has like tiny Reese's and it has like chocolate fudge in it um, and like chocolate shavings. It's delicious. Oh, hey, we made it to level seven. Not too bad. Not too bad. No, it's not annoying at all. We are happy to answer questions. Goofy Sun Max is cool. Agreed. I would love to have Powerline added to the game, but I talk about that all the time. I hope one day we have events in the valley, like concerts or like, yeah, like concerts in the valley. And it would be like rotating events in my brain space where um, like maybe once a month or so there would be a character that would come and it would just be like a little concert. Powerline is one of the ones that I would want to be there. Um, we could have, I don't remember the name, but the antelope from Zootopia. Hello, flawless Shakira. It wasn't it Shakira. Um, and then it would just be like a rotation of a couple or a few concerts that would just happen. And eventually they could add more. Will I show where you can purchase ruby lentils? Oh, yeah, I can do that. Hi, Heidi. How are you? Because it's right. It should be right um, at the stall in the wild tangle. You would have to make sure that you fix the stall first. But they are right here. You think her name was Gazelle? Very possible. I have seen Zootopia a couple of times, but it was never like my favorite. And it's been a while. Ah, stuck. You think when we get Jafar, we'll get Aladdin? I actually don't. I think Jafar is going to come. My guess is that Jafar is going to come in the last update of the DLC, which corresponds to... Tiana getting to the valley and I think Aladdin and Jasmine will end up being free I don't think they'll be paid and it doesn't seem like we're getting another character with Tiana or not someone outside of Princess and the Frog but I do think it's possible that Aladdin and Jasmine could come in the next update after that which would be like the start of the second half of the year that's been my theory of course, we don't know, but I don't think they would lock both Jafar and Aladdin behind the same, like, pack. You want them to add Nick and Judy to the valley? I think it's definitely possible. They would actually be fun additions, even though Zootopia is not, like, one of my top favorite movies. I did think it was really cute, and I do like... Uh, Nick and Judy. You want Tinkerbell? Yes, absolutely. Hi, Christian. Hello, hello. You saw Jafar's player icon on Remy's restaurant when you went in, um, but he wasn't there. Probably a glitch. Yeah, I think probably in the last update of the DLC, we'll get to, like, redeem him as much as you can redeem a villain and um, bring him to the valley or the aisle, as it were. Gaston's repaired compass. Yeah, 
yeah, Zootopia is Disney, Amanda. You want Peter Pan with Tinkerbell, Captain Hook, and Smee? I would love Peter Pan. I feel like I'm in the minority, but I'm a Wendy supporter as well. So I also want Wendy. But I don't know if we'll get Wendy. Saved from the ravages of time, this compass might lead you to hidden treasure. Use. Ooh, we have Miss Tilly. We have um, the sketchy looking spot over by Eve. And we have the Cave of Wonders. Okay, Miss Tilly. Sketchy Docks Eve. S sketchy Socks Eve, that works. And Cave of Wonders, I'm writing it down. Okay, okay. You liked Wendy as well. I feel like so many people are like Wendy haters, especially if they're Tink supporters, but I feel like I love them both. I think Wendy's kind of great. Maybe it's because I just like really identified with Wendy when I was a kid. I was like, I too am precocious and the mother of my friend group. Look at that, a memory pointing to lost treasures. Well done, Gaston. You mean me? <laughs> Did you say something? Oh, Gaston. Now we can go hunt down these lost treasures. Yes. And once I'm in possession of those valuables, Belle will surely be impressed. Are you still on, you're still on that? Guy, Gaston, who knows who those treasures actually belong to? You're saying if I find them, I can't keep them? I mean, it's not usually in good form. Probably not. You're no fun. Think of it this way. If we can return those items to their owners, you'll be seen as a hero for finding them. Ah. Gaston the hero, eh? I like the sound of that. Great. Time to start searching. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm assuming we need to use our... Uh, oh, no. We're going to dig. I thought we were going to use our hourglass. The boat on the rock or mountain reminds you of rescuers. It's actually um from Typhoon Lagoon. I think I did I make a video about that or did I just think really hard about making a video about that? Essentially, it's really exciting. I wait, it is here that we were supposed to be, right? Yeah, it was here. I feel like we need a dig spot, though. Let's look around. Maybe we don't need a dig spot. Maybe we just dig anywhere. Wait. Hmm. But uh, yeah, uh, the lore around it is really cool and really interesting kind of um, in relation to the ancient civilization and Atlantis. And I think it's really fun that they added it here. I wonder if we're going to get more like explanation as to why it. Oh, here. As to why it was made part of the biome. Oh. There we go. I did make a video. <laughs> Your biggest fan. <laughs> yeah, I a lot of times I the amount of videos I've made and just scrapped over the past year is astronomical. I get really excited about things and I do research about them and sometimes even write scripts and sometimes even record scripts and start editing videos. And then I'm just like, mm, I'm not putting this video out. <laughs> So the uh, the Miss Tilly thing was something that I, I wasn't sure if I actually did or not. <laughs> Any thoughts on how I'm going to decorate around Eve's? Um, I'm going to put Eve and Wally together somewhere. I'm not sure where. I'm kind of feeling the glittering dunes. But I haven't really thought about it yet. Has anybody tried to move Wally's garden to the aisle? I feel like it's not possible, but I would be really happy if I was wrong. Also, has anyone tried to get rid of this boat? And if so, does it stay in your inventory or is it gone forever? 
my instinct would be that it's gone forever. And that's a little bit disappointing. Oh, I can move this now. Sweet. You haven't found a way to move his garden. Yeah, that's a little bit of a bummer because I would like to have his garden near him, but it's fine. Maybe it can become Minnie's garden if I move Wally and Eve over here. And the wild tangle. The boat goes into inventory just at the bottom. You don't think it's tagged. Oh, nice. I'm not going to get rid of it now, but it was one of those things that I didn't want to lose if um, you remove it and it just disappears forever. We're still quite a way away from level eight, which is kind of unfortunate because I really want to see the top that Gaston gives us. You love the way that you have Wally set up in Sunlit, so you don't want to move him and Eve won't look right over there. Wait, Eve won't look right where? In Sunlit? Yeah, I like sunlit a little bit more for them i think than the glittering dunes i definitely want them to be together but i don't know there's so much stuff i want to leave over in the valley and i want to move some people over here and i think the glittering dunes would work wild tangle where was it in the wild tangle oh miss tilly um where is she ah oh, there she is I think I need to be on the other side, though. Yeah, in Sunlit. Yeah, I don't know. I need to think about it. I know for sure I want to move Mirabelle over here. Um, I'm pretty sure I want to move Wally and Eve both over here. I... I, yeah, I, I made the list of all of the buildings, but I saw how many were on there and I decided to put off allocating buildings and homes to biomes until a later date. So <laughs> we'll see. I might move Scar over here to the dunes. I don't know. An ancient looking brush with a few hairs still caught in the bristles. A climbing pack that has the look of a trusty tool that has seen much use. And an ancient light bulb that burned out a long time ago. You don't want to move Wally to the aisle because we can't move his garden. Yeah, I might still give him a garden if I did move him over here. It just wouldn't be his. You shall wait for me to do something and be inspired. Listen, I, I was thinking about how it would be kind of painful to completely wipe my valley, but I really think I'm going to. So there might be a lot of inspiration incoming. What? These aren't treasures. They're just junk. Still, I did work hard to find them. That's got to count for something. Gaston, we talked about this. <laughs> Don't you know by now that I'm a man of action, not talk? At least now we can track down who they belong to. Me? No, remember what I told you about appearing like a hero? Oh, right. I suppose we can return them then. We've got a brush, a light bulb, and a climbing pick. Let's take a closer look. Okay, let's look at the brush. Ariel could be cute in the aisle, too. Maybe. She might look cute in the pond in the lagoon, but I don't think I would put her off of Ancient's Landing. Uh, there are some very long hairs in here. But they're all bleached after being in the desert so long. No way to tell who they belong to from the color. Okay, let's look at the light bulb. I've never seen such an item before. They make light. They can be used for all sorts of things like bright decorations, grow lights for plants, and so much more. <sighs> hmm, sounds like something Belle's father would make. We've got a... Okay, and we have the climbing pick. 
Someone with a taste for adventure owned that one. Definitely. Let's go talk to different villagers and see if we can figure out the rightful owners. I made notes in case your memory isn't as razor sharp as mine. Okay. Well, thank you, my friend. Ugh, fine. <laughs> Onwards. I'll keep the items with me for now so I can return them myself and receive my rightful praise. Okay. Um, what are the chances that the brush belongs to Rapunzel? Oh, well, I assume these are the people I need to talk to. Never mind then, but I still think it's Rapunzel. You were going to move Gaston, but we can't move his stall. I want to see how Gaston's house looks with the, um, the rest of the cottages, because I might want all of the cottages in one spot. You wish you had more neutral biomes? Agreed. I agree. I wish we had more like the plaza and the meadow. Hi, Rapunzel. Gaston and I found a, a brush. Any chance it belongs to you? It's got long bleached hair. Hmm. Let me think. I used my brushes this morning and I wasn't missing one. I'd remember since I brush my hair a lot. Oh, no. I thought it would definitely be yours. Was the hair straight or wiry? Not wiry. Hmm. Now that you mention it, kind of wiry. I just that's so rude. Let's go talk to Mother Gothel. <laughs> Just crafted your first advanced ancient cooker. Nice. Oh, or Maui. Either way. Shots fired. You were thinking Lagoon too for Ariel. Decorating is tough. Decorating can be tough. But the only thing about the Lagoon is that I don't want to move Eric to the Wild Tangle, I don't think. And I don't really want them to be separated. Hello. Uh, Maui, we found a brush. Is it possibly yours? A brush? <laughs> what would I want one of those for? Uh, usually for brushing your hair? Yeah. No need. My hair always looks great. But if it didn't, I'd never get so distracted I'd lose a brush. Maybe yours belongs to someone who gets distracted a lot. Maybe. I'll keep looking. Thanks, Maui. Okay. Where's Mother Gothel? I just heard her. No, that's Wally. Mother Gothel. Gothel. It's fine. I think maybe the light bulb is Wally's. You're thinking the Oasis for Pride Rock? I think that would look really nice. I think I want to leave mine in the Sunlit Plateau. But that's what's so fun about getting more air. Sorry, I'm getting really passionate about this now. <laughs> that's what's so fun about getting new areas like through the DLC. It makes everything like it gives everything so many more possibilities. And then it's like everyone's valley just gets more and more unique because there are so many more options. And I just love that. So I'm really glad that we got this and I hope we get another new area in the next DLC. Um, Wally, are you missing a light bulb? Oh, whoa. No, not yours. Guess we'll have to keep looking. Gasp. You're looking up at the sky. Does it belong to someone who can fly? Someone who can fly. Thanks for the tip. I'll keep looking. Oh, Eve. Let's go find Mother Gothel. You wish Maui's grotto would fit in the oasis. Yeah, I really like Maui's grotto off of Dazzle Beach, but the oasis would be nice for it as well. You don't mind moving Gaston's Lodge since you added his stall to your marketplace on Eternity Isle. Oh, nice. Hi, Dreamy. Hello. How are you? Micah, hello. You love the DLC. You're playing it right now. Amazing. Um, Mother Gothel, we're trying to find the owner of this climbing pick. Oh, are you the missing? Are you missing one? A climbing pick? Anyway, a climbing pick that might be mine. What could you possibly be thinking? Well, sometimes you might need to climb up a steep, rocky surface. Now, why would I bother with climbing? I love that her face is in the tree. When I can simply be lifted by other means. 
I assure you, the item is not mine. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll keep looking for the proper owner. I suppose everyone's been Just means more videos for me to decorate on. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Uh, oh, you know what else I wish? I'm just like throwing out all of my Dreamlight Valley ideas today. I wish for the homes that you that have a front door and a back door, when you exited the house, it let you select whether you went through the front or back. That would be a huge game changer because of where I want to put the like wintry palace. I oh, it would be amazing if it let you select whether you were leaving the front or the back. Hello, Eve. Did you happen to lose a light bulb? Hmm. Oh, you seem pretty happy. I'm going to take that as a yes. Giggle. Wally. Oh, so cute. It was a gift from Wally. Well, I'm happy that it will be returned to you. Gaston will bring it over right away. OK, maybe it's Merlin's hair. You feel like they need to do a big Scrooge shop update? Like there's so much stuff they can add to the game decorated. Decorating and clothes wise. I agree. We haven't had like a well. Yeah, we haven't had like a large influx of items to Scrooge's in a long time. So that would be really nice. Merlin, Gaston and I found a brush in the desert. Could it belong to you? Quite miraculous. You know, it just might. I had completely forgotten about my beard brush. Great. I'll get Gaston to bring it back to you. Mm -hmm. Mickey gave that to me as a gift long before the forgetting. And well, my beard has been rather out of sorts. I'll be glad to brush it thoroughly. <laughs> His beard brush, in fact. Um, maybe Kristoff for the climbing pick. Is he around? Who are you? Who are you? I feel like it's him, but let's talk to Scrooge first. How about a wee bit of conversation? You have Rapunzel in the Oasis. Nice. Oh, thank you, Raylene. Yeah, I am good. Um, back and things are great. You guessed beard brush and that's what it was. Oh, <laughs> you didn't know. <laughs> Hi, Mr. McDuck. Do you have a moment? What can I help you with? Gaston and I are trying to track down the owner of a climbing pit. Could it be yours? Leap in Log Ness, it sure is. Wait, really? I thought I'd lost it forever on an exploration back in my adventuring days. Well, it might be a little time worn now, but still in good condition. Gaston will bring it to you. Thank you kindly. This almost makes up for getting me to invest in a business with no... Oh, you still remember that, do you? <laughs> a business with no revenue. Well, happy to help. I'll let you discuss the whole investment situation with Gaston. Bye -bye. Hanging out with Gaston to get to 10 is painful. Yeah, we're at like seven and a half right now, so it, it, it's going to take a minute. Gaston, the rightful owners of all the items have been determined. Excellent. I'll return them so they can all thank me. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, thank you for the sip reminder. My coffee is sufficiently cold now, but it's still tasty. So how did that feel? It was pleasant, though no one was grateful enough to give us a proper reward. Doing good is its own reward. You sound like someone who's gotten used to not being rewarded. <laughs> Still, I can tell that you did your best to entertain me today. It's important to reward a sidekick when they're at least attempting to do well. Um, <laughs> If you put up fishing trophies in your house as well, you can imagine you're me. So here, have this. Oh... Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Gaston. You may not be the best sidekick, but you did help me discover the benefit of being a hero. I'm not your sidekick. Not with that attitude, you aren't. Run along for now. I'll be in touch if I need you again. You're not my dad. Um, Are you following me? Yes. OK, actually, do we have a spot we can put these up? I actually don't know. How large are they? Um, 
And will they fit in here? Are they under Beauty and the Beast? Probably not. That would make it too easy. Oh, they are. Oh, look at me hating <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> Just being a negative little Nancy. Um... I don't know that I want them in here, though, if I'm being really real. Is that the sand fountain? Yeah, that's the sa sand fountain. I'll run out there again in a second. Maybe I'll just leave them in here for now until I decide what to do with them. Um, it can go inside, but it, um, goes into the ceiling. Like, the cactus is halfway in the ceiling, but it's a really large item. Um, it actually worked for this space, though, because I wasn't going to do anything really with this room. It's just the landing for all of my Eternity Isle stuff. So it's kind of cool to have, like, in the middle here. And then this back room is where I have all of the fragments, like a little gallery sort of area well all of the fragments that we can put inside anyway and then some things from the update and the enchanted rose because i couldn't not and then i have my storage on either side here and oh you were right up on me usually they spawn in the corners and my other storage is over here Where's the sand fountain from? I believe it's crafted, if I'm not mistaken. At the crafting table, perhaps? I see. Um... I feel like it was crafted. Oh yeah, sand fountain. The rose always deserves additional spots. Agreed, it's such a good item. They did a really good job on it. It's a big boy, it is. Like it would look so good in the, um, the dune somewhere. Let me actually, I don't know that I've ever popped it into the dunes to look. I just crafted a bunch of stuff and then, <laughs> and didn't really do anything with it because I figured I would look at it when I actually started decorating, but I feel like it would look really pretty here. I mean, this is kind of where it's made for, so I would hope so. Um, and thing, why would it not be here? Roll. I feel like I have another one. Uh, I have a bunch of them. Yeah, look. Pretty cool. It looks a lot bigger in the room, which makes sense because the room is small, but it's still a pretty large item. Four? Yeah. Four. What? It's a good number. <laughs> I, I always try to craft more than one of everything so that I have a bunch because I never know how many I'm going to want to use. And then if I run out of them, I will forget they exist. So I always try to keep just multiple of them in my furniture menu so I never forget. You have an Eternity Isle floor. It has all of your Eternity Isle storage. Yeah, that's what I have as well, except my gems are not there because I keep all of my gems on one floor. Like for my regular valley, or yeah, for the regular valley and for the aisle. You've been meaning to move your storage inside so you can easily access it on either map, but you get distracted by other things in game and forget. Yeah, I've always had um, my main storage inside, and then I usually put temporary storage outside by Goofy stall in every biome, so I'll have like a chest and then the like the home chest so I can just drop things off as I go. 
but then I move everything inside for my permanent storage. You place tents in this area? Nice! Yeah, I definitely want to use the tents somewhere. I'm not sure where, though. The decorating streams for Eternity Isle are probably going to be a lot of, like, me just sitting here trying to figure out what each area is going to be. Because my decorating style in general, I like to have, like, make sure I have natural areas, but also decorate around the buildings. So I'm definitely going to want to leave some of the landings kind of more natural and then have others that have more of like a not like built up feel because I'm not really like a super like built up kind of builder, but more of like a lived in feel. Me logic is best logic. The me logic is just me making sure that I know what's up. Because I know that it will happen. It has happened before. As soon as I use the last item of a furniture or whatever in my inventory, I forget it exists. And it can take me months to realize that it exists again. So that's why I always keep more than one of everything. You need decorating inspo for like the aisle. I really can't wait. I'm just like itching to start decorating. But also, here's the thing. <laughs> I know when we get the next update, which I really do in my spirit feel like is going to be in a couple of weeks. I know we're going to start getting more player houses. So I don't want to have like everything perfectly planned and arranged when we're just going to be getting more houses. And like, yes, in the next update after that, we'll get more houses, but at least it's not like that one's not like two weeks away. Does that make sense? The houses are usually the thing I'm most excited about seeing with updates, so I'm really looking forward to finding out what we get. Okay, let's mine these spots and then let's pick up this quest. I have to do another day of Gaston questing, honestly. You don't think the Monsters Inc. house will match the Isle vibes? I don't imagine it will, but I mean the premium shop houses that we get with that update. I think some of them might potentially match the Isle vibe. Okay. You're late. Uh, I'm sorry. We had an appointment. Wait, what? No, I'm not sorry. We had an appointment? Well, no, but you should have known I had something for you to do. Now, are you going to help me? I don't have all day. Okay, what's going on? I've been thinking, and I know what's needed to make you a better sidekick. Uh, okay. Once again, not your sidekick. Oh, you will be soon. I'm going to introduce you to the Gastonian experience. If you understand what it's like to be me, you'll know how to be a better sidekick. Okay, and what exactly does that entail? First, you'll need better clothes because I would never wear that. Um, I look cute. What do you mean? <laughs> Rude. Yes, visiting me in such an unworthy outfit was rude, but I forgave you. I mean, to be fair, I did wear the beast horns to be petty, but still. Return to me when you have clothing befitting Gaston. Red on top. Okay. Black trousers, or what you will, and a devastatingly handsome demeanor. Hmm. No one heroes like Gaston. Okay. I need black pants instead, and any gloves, apparently. All right. Eh? Oh, okay. I was like, what is happening? What? Uh, 
Sure. These are fine for now. Please wear his wig. Stop. The wig looks so silly. Does anyone have a character who looks good in the wig is my question, because it's not my character. Maybe I should make the bottom also dark. There we go. Look at me. Looking like... <laughs> I don't know, a person. Looking like Gaston. Twinning, if you will. <laughs> it's just giving forehead. New clothes. Hmm, you look acceptable. Gaston, I look like you. My less stylish cousin, perhaps. Still, it's an improvement over what you were wearing before. So what's next? <laughs> I'll introduce you to the Gastonian diet, and then you'll be properly fueled for my incredible muscle working routine. Oh, no. Do I dare ask about the Gastonian diet? It's simple and effective. Not cackling and crying. The wig is awful. You couldn't do it. Listen. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> I can't. Raw eggs. Lots of them. You'll find cobra eggs around the glittering dunes. And raw piranha meat. Not my traditional meal, but I found eating dangerous animals to be especially energizing. Oh my goodness. It's, oh, it's the hairline. It's the poof at the front looking like Snooky. <laughs> I can't. Um... <laughs> I should have expected this. See, Ursula saw our hair immediately turned around and walked away. All that raw food is a little iffy, though. Well, I suppose you can make yourself a... What did Donald call it? Oh, yes. A workout shake instead. Um, okay, I'll go with the cobra eggs and piranha after all. Try anything once, I guess. The Tinker Lily giggles today are the very best. I am feeling a little bit giggly today. You know what I think it is? It's not not the fact that I've been watching The Good Place again recently. I did decide to start watching it. So I feel like The Good Place is so funny. Listen, okay. and I feel like it's just elevated my natural like ability to laugh at anything. Piles of cobra eggs. You choose the shake. I mean, the shake would make more sense. It really, really would. I don't even know where we find piranhas. I might have a couple piranhas. Oh, it's the wild tangle, isn't it? Don't hate on their poof. You did that back in your freshman year of high school. It was popular. Oh, I definitely did the poof. When I was in high school, it was uh, I didn't usually do the middle poof, though. I brought it to the side a little bit because the middle was just it was it was a lot, but it was definitely a phase. It was very popular for a while. The lagoon only. OK, thank you. We go to the lagoon. Golden rings only. Okay, perfect. Well, I have an elixir still on my fishing rod, I think. Do I? Oh, yeah, I have eight more. Eight more casts. Sometimes I think about fashion stuff and I'm like, trends really are interesting. Like... <laughs> The things that we think look good and then you look back on it and you're like, why was that the choice?
Okay. And after this, we will maybe mine these spots. See if we can get Gaston to level 8 at least before the end of stream. And finish this quest off. There's a way to tell how many casts you have left. Yeah, so um, at the bottom right, you can see like which tool you're holding and stuff. And um, it should have a button. For me, it shows like the up arrow. If you press the up arrow, it will tell you like who you're with and what their comp and what their role is. It says well fed for me because I still have like you can't see it in my bar, but I still have a little bit of energy in the yellow. So I'm getting those bonuses. And then if you have any elixirs, it'll show I have the miracle fishing bait and under the fish, it says times eight. That means I have eight casts of it left. And it'll do that for any elixirs. It'll tell you how many more uses you have. The poof and zebra print was so cool in like 2009. I'm pretty sure I got a zebra print comforter when I went to university. It was well past 2009, but I guess that was my vibe. You'll have to try that. Never knew we had that. Yeah, it's really useful. Um, I don't use it all the time, but like when you need to know, I feel like it's really nice to have. You're mind blown right now. Really? This game, there are so many like small things that I feel like. Yeah, it's easy to not know everything. I still sometimes, not as much recently, but every now and then I will still like hear somebody say something and I'm like, I had no idea that you could do that or I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, there might still be one over here. No, I already broke that one. Gaston, come over here so I can see how close you are to level 8. Oh, it's not telling me. Okay, well, that's rude. Do we have a new bubble spawn? Yes. Beautiful. You always thought it was timed, so you always use yours as fast as you can before it runs out. Oh no, none of them, none of the elixirs are timed. It's all like a specific number of uses. And like the fishing one will only count in the white bubble, so I had eight um even before i did the red or the blue bubbles it only counts for like yeah the ones that it changes okay gaston i got you some weight actually what does it say it calls to you to be devoured raw does it does it okay gaston take these items Back with the Gastonian food. Ah. Excellent. Soon it will be time for the coconuts. Uh, Gaston, what's up with the coconuts? What are you planning? No need for you to know that now. The Gastonian mindset doesn't worry about the future. It's about the moment. And this moment is about food. I'm not sure I trust anything you cooked. <laughs> cooked? No, everything's raw. Let's eat. Not 12 eggs and a piranha. Um, eat as many egg cartons as you can. Eat a raw piranha. Eh, yuck. So glad you moved some people to the aisle less crowded. Yeah, I'm excited about hopefully clearing up some space. I would love to actually have room to, um, have some of the attractions out, like Pizza Planet. Ooh. 
Although I will say having Pizza Planet actually made me more angry that Buzz and Woody have the RV and the carousel because I wish they had things that would look better with the Pizza Planet. Yeah, raw eggs are not the not the ideal breakfast. Not what I would do. Hi, Willie. How are you? So how do you feel? A little nauseated, actually. Kind of bloated. The Gastonian diet does that sometimes. Was eating everything raw really all that important? <laughs> yes, the food will cook inside us from the heat of our efforts. That's science. Um, if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Okay, Gaston, what's next? We must create a place to work our muscles. We'll build it from scratch with materials that we've ripped from nature. We'd call that a gym. And you mean materials that I gather for you? A gym. I like that name. Gather some coconuts, tropical wood, brass ingots, and stones. And see McDuck about a mirror. A large one. Do I dare ask why we need a mirror? You disappoint me. Why would anyone work their muscles if they can't watch themselves do so? For the sake of getting stronger? <laughs> Ah, but how do you know that it's working without a mirror? Make sure you also find Maui and invite him to our gym. As the only other impressively muscled person around, he'll want to see what we've made. All right, I'm off. Okay, okay. Raw eggs are Gaston's MO, though. That's true. Gaston's coconut gym and order a queen of the sea mirror. Why that mirror in particular? I mean, not mad at it, but... Interesting choice. You spent 2,600 moonstones on the star path because you couldn't be bothered finishing it. Oh my goodness. Well, as long as you got everything that you wanted, I guess that's good. Ooh, I'm so excited to see what our next star path theme is. Really excited. Okay, Scrooge. Oh, you're still here. <laughs> I forgot he was still with me. Having a nice catch up with your nephew? Um, I don't actually remember what it's under, but I can find it under purple and Little Mermaid, I think. There we go. I already had three of those, but I'll buy another one for you, Gaston. Okay, and let's just mine these real quick since we're here. Oh, click on Scrooge on the top. Was that? Oh, was there like a quest icon at the top? I didn't even pay attention. You only had two new things in Scrooge's. Yeah, Scrooge's really is not, um, it's not too nice most of the time. Look at Eve sitting. <laughs> She's just hovering above the bench. <laughs> That's so cute. You know what I'm ready for? I am ready for Milo and Kita to come into the game. I really am. Honestly, though, it's kind of one of those things where, like, people say don't meet your heroes. That's a little bit also how I feel about Milo and Kita coming into the game. But just in the sense of, like, if they were done dirty by Gameloft, I would be so upset. Like, if they looked wacky, I'd be like... How dare you? <laughs> How very dare. She looks so sad all the time. Eve, doesn't she? Does she get better when you um, like go through her quest line and reunite her with Wally? Or does she just always look sad all the time? Can't wait for Daisy to come to the game. I have to say, I'm not ex as excited about Daisy as I would hope to be. 
I am interested to see her interactions with uh, Donald and with Minnie. And I think she'll be fun, but... I wish I was a little bit more excited about Daisy. She always looks sad. Yeah, that's not ideal. <gasps> it's Jasmine! Nice. He always looks sad, just like Beast won't stop asking wh where Belle is. Wait, Beast still asks where Belle is? I don't think I've seen him do that. Or if I have, I can't really recall it. The more complete the store is, the more your repeats will be most likely. Well, the more items you have, yeah. Um, we need to make this coconut gym. You'd love to see Lilo and Bruno from Encanto. I want all of the Madrigals. I really, really do. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if you have to buy other Madrigals, like either through a DLC or I really think at some point that they'll probably, um, I'm going to go buy this uh, meat from his stand before I forget, and then I will continue the quest. I feel like in the future, it's possible that we're going to get either character packs that aren't attached to DLC, but they just give us a couple of characters and their quest lines, like friendship quest lines. Or I think it'll be possible that we get paid realms at some point. And I imagine the Madrigals would end up uh, coming with either of those. I'm just going to buy 100. Or wait, what? 15? That's rude. Buy as many as I can then. Maybe the venison is always there and that's why I can buy a bunch. Note to self, make sure I go to Gaston's meat cart every day. Okay. Near the entrance docks in Ancient's Landing. You're almost positive that we'll get Antonio in Mirabelle's quest. She sent him a letter telling him about the valley. Oh, I haven't finished that quest yet, but she was talking about Antonio in the quest. So I feel like we will. I feel like we'll get him. He's also just so cute. He's oh, my goodness. I, he's so cute. I really want him to show up in the valley. Just the most adorable little pixel boy. Uh, sure. Let's pop that there and yeah, I don't actually know which way is front and which way is not front, but that, that'll work. Invite Maui to train with me and Gaston. Oh, hey, Maui, my guy. Oh, hey. Maui, I have some possibly exciting news for you. Don't tell me you used all that magic stuff you do to make another or yourself shape shift. Ooh, that would be fun. Afraid not. Gaston is trying to get a gym going. It's a place to work your muscles and weights and stuff. Or with weights and stuff. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> well, I'm not supposed to ruin the surprise about this part, but he wanted you to know that this will involve coconuts. <laughs> Interesting. Maybe I will stop by. Not a fan of gyms? I like the oh, oh, <laughs> look at Gaston's face watching our conversation. <laughs> I don't need a special place to get these muscles. Yeah. Demigod, remember? Right. You should swing by and check things out. Right. Will do later. Uh, you think paid realms wouldn't be a good thing because the DLCs are better because there's more to explore, whereas a paid realm would have nothing to explore. I mean, the price would reflect the difference in the content. I still think it's a possibility. I don't know if they're for sure going to have it, but I do think it's possible. Oh, wait. Maui was told there are coconuts involved. Why are they standing inside of each other? The Gastonian gym features coconuts and other resources gathered solely by yours truly. <laughs> good for you, pal. Really? Wait, what? You like it? Sure, it's a cool mortal thing. 
as a demigod, I don't need to go to a gym, but I'm happy for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, are you certain you don't want to try? See you around, Gaston. That's right. I'm Mal, shapeshifter, demigod of the wind and sea. You hope we get him and his little leopard toy as a quest reward? The leopard toy would be so cute. An emotionally shattered Gaston is waiting for you near the gym. Oh, wow, mood. Mm. Well, that was, uh, a little awkward. Never mind that, we must move forward. No regrets, no second thoughts. That's the Gastonian experience. You finished Mirabelle's quest yesterday? Nice. Uh, now, are you ready to build muscles like me? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Excellent. You've seen Merlin's legs, haven't you? Good for walking, maybe, but you need powerful legs to strut impressively. No, no, don't talk about that man's chicken legs. It's not his fault. He's, I was going to say he's a wizard, but I mean, <laughs> you can, I guess, be, never mind. <laughs> are you saying never skip leg day? Hmm, I like the sound of that. Did you come up with that yourself? Nah. Actually, I think I remember inventing that ages ago. You must have heard me say it. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure. Enough talk. We must exercise. Okay, big gains. Here we come. Start on the barbell. I'll supervise. So, how do you feel? Um, kind of the same. Hey, Blondie, welcome in. How are you? Well, we're not done yet. Now comes the most important part. The neck. What? <laughs> yeah, the what? You think a neck like mine comes naturally? No, you've got to work for it. I don't think I need my neck. To... OK, what do I do? <laughs> this is the core of the Gastonian method. I'll ask you some questions and you must answer the way I would. All right, a little RP here. First question. Someone offers you a bunch of vegetables. What do you say? Er, mur, mur, mur. Um, <laughs> that's me getting into the brain of Gaston. Mur, mur. Um, no vegetables. Ew. Eh. Yucks. <laughs> no, thanks. I just ate. <gasps> that's a start, but you must also shake your head with great emphasis. OK, try me again. Would you like a book? Uh, what, 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 what would Gaston say? Ideas? No, <laughs> never. <laughs> That's it. The advanced ancient cooker is a lifesaver. It's great, isn't it? Feel your neck getting stronger. Now here's the last one. Do you enjoy thinking about the consequences of your actions? Uh, thinking? I've never thought a day in my life. No, <laughs> I only think about my muscle gains when looking in the mirror. <laughs> yes, your neck is getting thicker by the minute. Thank you. <laughs> Wrong. I deserve compliments. There's no reason to thank anyone for them. Oh, OK. Well, so what now? Ah. Well, now that your neck is impressively thick. Uh, not something I ever expected to hear. We need to show the other villagers. How are you at drawing? Not very good. What if I take some pictures instead? It's like making an instant painting. It should be faster than drawing a bunch of sketches. <laughs> Not wasting time on boring things. Now you're thinking like me. You loved this quest? So far, his quests are pretty good. I'm enjoying them. Three pictures should do it. Okay. Move along. I just I'm done need... With you now. Oh, just pictures of Gaston. Okay. <laughs> There we go. Look at those muscles. Gaston, look at the pictures I took of us. You like the pictures? I do. They capture my impressive jawline perfectly. And you look adequate. <laughs> I guess I need to work my neck more. It's only your first day on the Gastonian program. It usually takes two. Next, we must show our results to other villagers. 
Start with Maui. I'm sure he'll be very interested in our progress and how it involves coconut. How does it involve coconuts? Ah. And also McDuck and Rapunzel. Any reason why I should see them in particular? <laughs> well, they're pictures of me, so who want, wouldn't want to see that? And as for you, they'll admire how much I've helped you. So... Just remember to be Gastonian as you show them off. All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> remember, show off your neck. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, are these All the pictures, right, apparently? Stop. Pictures of Gaston, flush and buff from his workout. All right. <laughs> Scrooge. Check out the flush and buff. Oh, greetings, neighbor. Mr. McDuck, I've got some pictures to show you. Uh -huh. What's this? Are you showing me more of my unintended investment? Not exactly. Oh, my stars and garters. What happened to your neck? <laughs> I'm still trying to figure that out myself. Well, that's what happens when you spend time with Gaston. <laughs> Not my neck, actually getting thicker can we unthicken our neck or are we just permanently um enhanced get over here check this out maui oh hey hey maui gaston wanted me to show you these pictures huh? Oh, you and Gaston finally did that muscle working thing? Yep, you're looking at a coconut based gains here. I'm impressed, kid. If Gaston spends a little more time with his coconut gear, he might have a shot at a neck as impressive as mine. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Good chat, Maui. Rapunzel. I'm really curious to say what or see what she'll say. Hi. Um, would you have a minute? Check out these pics. I'm twinning with someone new now. Rapunzel. Oh. Oh, uh, you sound a little different. Um It's from my sick neck and vocal cord gains. <laughs> Um, well, I guess I'm happy for you. Gaston helped too. Check out these pics. <laughs> oh. oh, uh, congratulations. The grind is never over. Merely paused. Gotta run now. Lots to do. I just love talking to you. So glad you decided to keep your moonstones this week. Wait, for what? It's about time. All done showing off the pictures. Excellent. Not, why do I keep saying excellent? My eggs are on my mind. Excellent. Did Maui like them? Maui, well, he did like the coconut workout gear. But he also said that you should spend more time working out if you want a neck as thick as his. Oh. Gaston, are you about to cry? No, crying is not Gastonian. I'm sweating from my eyes. At last, I see the neck stop. <laughs> Was all of this just so you could talk to Maui, make a friend? Of course not. You could have just been honest. There's no need for the whole pretense. Have you learned nothing from the Gastonian experience? Oh, no, I did. Well, at least you can continue to improve your neck with the workout gear. But I'm sorry to say that you just don't understand what it's like to be Gaston. All this cleverness of yours, it gets in the way. It's true, I am too clever. You'll never be a new LeFou or work as my sidekick. I, I want to be alone. Oh, Gaston. All right, we can talk later, I guess. But I think what you're really in need of is a friend. Perhaps you're right. I'll consider what you've said. At least you did improve your neck. Of course it's for me. Oh, he's so close. To the next level. Let's get him to level eight. We can check out the shirt. 
or jacket. I don't know what it's going to be. And really be twinning. Amazing. I don't know why I said amazing. I just mind. Anyway, <laughs> on to the next rock. Wait, is Gaston still even with me? Gaston, where are you? Why aren't you here? That's a little bit rude. Sir? No, not you. You are supposed to be following me. Wait, what did that say? Friendship level 10. Okay. We only have one quest left with him. I will say, that's not too shabby. We got some work done today. Um... Okay, that didn't do it. Take a swing around here. Ugh, I'm so slow when I'm hungry. Ooh, we did it. Huzzah indeed. Let's check it out. Okay, wait, this is kind of sick. Mm. It's like so detailed. I don't know if it's going to come up on stream. It also isn't really helped by the lighting that I was standing in there. Uh, the lighting in... Ugh. Let me go to my home. The lighting in the dunes is just very, very harsh. Pirate vibes, right? You're seeing Melanie Martinez on Friday. Amazing. Okay, let me go inside and look. See if it's a little bit better. Um, I can't. Oh, there we are very zoomed in, but like the texture of this vest, I think it's supposed to be like a leather sort of or like a suede kind of. It looks so good. Got the deer with the antlers on the back. Pretty cool. I like it. You actually kind of loved Gaston's jacket. Yeah, it's it's a nice top. I'm a fan. The code is from the 2017 movie. Yeah, well, it definitely looks like it. Definitely looks like it. Okay, the lighting here is weird, but I think this is where we're going to go ahead and... Wait, where did Gaston go? Whatever. And end our stream. <laughs> we didn't completely finish Gaston's quest, but you know what? We did a really good job. We didn't let his attitude get in the way of us doing what we need to do and having a good time. So I'll take that. Let me see if anybody is playing right now and we can go and hang out with them for a little bit. But as always, thank you so much for coming to the stream and hanging out with me. I really, really appreciate it more than you could possibly know. And uh, thank you for liking the stream if you did. If you haven't, please consider pressing the like button on your way out. We're going to go see Jade Mist. It looks like she's doing decorating and snap wars, which I think is her community dream snaps challenge. So if you have some time, please pop by, say hello to Jade Mist, drop her a like. If you don't have time, no worries. I will be back tomorrow playing some Coral Island, I believe. So I hope to see you there. If not, we'll be doing Dreamlight Valley again on Wednesday. So have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you soon. Goodbye. <laughs>